Hello guys, it's JediBob23 here, and today I have another review for you of the LEGO Star Wars Mandalorian Battle Pack. Uh, it retailed for $14.99, set number is 75267, uh, had 102 pieces and 4 minifigures. So let's get started with those minifigures. Uh, the first one is this cool looking Mandalorian, who's kind of brown, if it would focus. There we go. Uh, he has some nice printing on the torso, plain legs, and a nice cape with a very good looking helmet that's exclusive to this set. Uh, all the Mandalorians in this set come with a stud shooter, the, the infamous stud shooter that no one really likes. Uh, yes, and he just has a plain black head under there, nothing special. And there is some printing on the back, so let me just lift up the cape. So that's kind of nice. Okay, uh, the next figure is this blue Mandalorian. He would focus. He has some uh, accents, some purple accents on him, and he does have leg printing. And he's blue with like a gray body and legs. He has a really cool, vibrant helmet. It's very vibrant, and an olive green cape. The back has some printing on it. It's kind of shiny. Uh, and yeah, so this is the uh, second Mandalorian. Oh yeah, I should mention that the, um, actually, the Mandalorians with like the straight, like what I like to call the straight T visor that just goes straight across and straight up and down, those are considered like male Mandalorians and the next ones are considered like female Mandalorians um, with like the kind of the bow in the middle like it goes kind of over and down it's not just straight uh, this is the third Mandalorian and it's some shiny um, chest printing right there and uh, it's mostly gray with some sand blue and some tan uh, this one also has uh, the antenna piece up top, so that's cool. You can remove that if you want. You don't have to keep it there. Um, also, another stud shooter, which just dropped. Uh, the back is also kind of shiny. You can see there, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, there's there's that one. Uh, now, the last one is probably my favorite one of this set. It's the green one. Uh, this one's also female, if you can tell by the, the visor. It's not straight. Um, it's pretty cool. I like the green. Nothing, like, too over the top. Just some good, nice green printing. If it would focus. There we go. Uh, this one also has the antenna piece, which you can put on any of them, but the instructions just say to put them on that one. Some little detail right there on the helmet. Uh, dark blue with some green for the body and the legs. Uh, back printing. Uh, hmm. Would be pretty cool. Hold on a second. There we go. Uh, there's some little reflective parts right there if you can see. And yeah. So there's the Mandalorians. Oh yeah, I should also note that the set comes with um, all of these pieces right here. Uh, it comes with a uh, like uh, four visor pieces that you can hook in and uh, a couple extra of the antenna pieces. So technically all of them can have it, but only a couple of them do. Actually, let me show you how this looks on one of them. Uh, I don't think it looks super great. I prefer them without it. But it's cool to get more of these pieces. I know they look good on clone minifigures. So, uh, here's this one with the, uh, the visor on it. Focus. There we go. And this can uh, flip up and flip down. 
So yeah, there's uh, there's the figures. Now let's get on to the set part of this, which is actually really small. Um, it doesn't... Um, it's not very much. Uh, we'll start with this, just because it's simple. Um, it's a little, like, rock structure, like, turret nest. You just put one of the, um, the, uh, the stud shooters in there. And then it's just kind of some rocks. It has a clip right here. Uh, so that you can put, like, a gun or something else there. But it doesn't actually give you anything to put in there. Uh, there's the, uh, stud shooter. Uh, the person can go right there, and yeah, this is really simple, just kind of like a little rock face build. Um, the cooler thing in this set is this Mandalorian, like, speeder. Uh, it just, I think, looks pretty cool. It has some nice, like, earth colors to it. It's not, like, bright or anything. It's just kind of gray and tan. You can put a figure right there. It has two stud shooters on it, which, in my opinion, the stud shooters on vehicles are not so bad. It's just I don't like them in the hands of figures. So it has a little light on the front. And it's, it's simple, but I, I really like this. I think it's pretty cool. And yeah, so there's the review of this set. Uh, I would give it a uh, big thumbs up because, uh, I don't know, I really like this set. It's 15 bucks. It's pretty cheap. Uh, has some great exclusive minifigures, which are Mandalorian. Uh, I think the Mandalorians are pretty cool. So yes, yeah, so I would definitely recommend this set. Okay, so this has been another review by Jedi Bob 23 uh, If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And if uh, you would, that would be nice of you to leave a big like on this video. Well, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.